Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Today we will be looking at using our PW output um, to light up our LED. So here is our schematics. Um, <laughs> technically, my my setup does not look like this. Um, I have a, a development, a professional development um, kit that have um, LED that you could hook up so but essentially if you have two LEDs and hook up uh, one to pin number nine um, and pin number ten these are actually one of the two of the digital PWM so right here see oh yeah right here the Arduino actually says it digital PWM let me see I, I, I hope you can see that here you go so digital PWM with the dash sign so we are using pin number 9 and pin number 10 makes sense so if you hook your schematics like this so this is where we are declaring the pin that we will use to light up the LED and our resistor on the board the resistor is 470 ohms so we declared the two pins here, 10 and 9. We uh, initialize the pin as output. So we will be outputting some kind of voltage um, on that pin. That's how Arduino knows. All right. So with this, not every day you you write a code and not, not have anything on your loop. So for this particular um, code, we don't have anything on the loop and we can still do some really cool stuff. All right, so we in initialized the output pins. So this is where the magic happens. So we need to include a time libraries to use these two functions. So these two functions does the magic, right? So to, to add this library, just go to tools, go to manage library. Then go ahead and type in um, time one. So as soon as you get it, go ahead and install it. I already have it installed on mine. So as you can see, it uses hardware timer for finer PW, um, PWM controls and running a periodic interrupt function. So this is the key to this project. So right now I have it initialized. So you have, if you have this number, this is a microsecond. So I have it initialized to trigger and output every one second. It makes sense? And I have my PWM initialized to um, pin number nine and pin number 10, right? And this is the duty cycle. So this is essentially meaning that it will be short for a small period of time. And this is essentially a meaning that it will be long for a, a long period of time. This is closer to 50% duty cycle. Um, if you want to do 50% duty cycle, the value is um, 512, 50%. Um, so this is better expect, I think, 0 to 203 something, I think. I'll have to check my notes again. So, um, so yeah. Uh, and that's it. That's 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 it, guys. So the um, library will basically do all the heavy lifting for you and uh, send out a voltage to this pin every second. And and it will be longer here. Uh, represent um, a very small value of um, percentage duty cycle. And this is closer to fifty. This is probably like fifty something, fifty two, fifty three also percent duty cycle I should probably calculate it uh, but there yeah that's essentially um, what we have so all you need to do is to upload it all right and as you could see we are turning on I'm going to I'm going to experiment with taking off the just so you you can see that you know the board is doing what it's supposed to do. I'll, I'll take off the ground from the Arduino.
All right, I hope um, you can, you know, with a very small amount of code, very, we're talking about how many lines of code, very, about five lines of code, and you are able to, five, well, seven lines of code, and you're able to um, create something beautiful like this. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, comment in the comment section below. And um, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.